Visit TryCustomInc.com today and start your t-shirt design for free. Order one shirt or thousands. On-time delivery is guaranteed and we'll even ship your order absolutely free. Thanks, Custom Inc. Call 1-800-990-8968. Excel's Pro is not sold in stores, so call 1-800-990-8968 today. A Weather Channel original series. This is a dangerous job. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Catching Hell, Sundays at 9 on the Weather Channel. Dave Schwartz with a tornado warning along with Mike Butler, super meteorologist on graphics here. Southwest end of this thunderstorm that's moving into Sioux Falls at a rate of just 10 miles per hour, there may be a tornado, okay? It would be right here. Moving to the east at 10 miles an hour, that would bring it right over Sioux Falls. Small hail also likely with this one. There's the timing near Wayne right now, moving to the east. So it should hit Sioux Falls in approximately, what do we have time on that? About two, let's see, about half an hour from downtown Sioux Falls is the way I figure it. Tornado warning is in effect. That's the latest on severe weather here in the Northern Plains. The worst is over in Memphis. The cleanup continues on the north side, especially from very strong winds. Arkansas, tremendous wind damage. We'll get more into that in just a minute. But first, here's Alex. Thank you, Dave. June 6, 1944. There's something pretty interesting about D-Day you probably didn't know. The 70th anniversary was originally supposed to be today. But Maria LaRosa tells us something changed General Eisenhower's mind and changed the course of World War II. The weather. 1944, four years into World War II. The Allies are working to break the Nazis' grip on Europe by launching an invasion from southern England. The first day of the attack, D-Day. And success depends on the forecast. General Dwight D. Eisenhower needed up-to-the-minute weather information for the invasion to be successful. These meteorologists were given the greatest task of any meteorologist before or since. The man in charge was James Stagg with the British Meteorological Office. After personally consulting with Stagg, General Eisenhower picked June 5, 1944, for D-Day. But a week out, storms and strong winds were in the forecast, putting the forces in danger. And so he tells them that this is going to be bad weather coming. On the morning of June 4th, Stagg advises Eisenhower to delay D-Day, and two stormy days follow. But behind the storms, a high-pressure system creates a gap, making June 6th the soonest possible date for the invasion, turning the weather on the Allies' side and changing the course of World War II. Learn much more about that important weather forecast in the new book, The Forecast for D-Day. We have an exclusive interview with the author of that book, John Ross. You can find it right now on weather.com. Dave, over to you. All right, time to check in on the tropics and see what we've got going. You know, the tropical season has begun on the Pacific side and the Atlantic side now that we're into June. And wouldn't you know it, there's an area of investigation, not quite concern, but investigation. It's the southwest Gulf of Mexico. Here's Texas, there's Florida, and this is the Bay of Campeche. And there's been persistent low pressure here, but we have upper level winds that are pretty strong moving that way. Can you get that sense? So anything that tries to rise and thunderstorms get going or just showers get going and that heat uh, engine to go where tropical storms and hurricanes, that's being cut off at the top. So as long as those strong winds are there, we're safe. Right now, the Hurricane Center, 30% chance over the next couple of days of something developing, some organized system developing. Checking in on radar, just some showers blowing in offshore. We see no circulation, perhaps a weak circulation out here in the very south uh, east part of this area. But nothing of concern in the short term. Some of our computer models move something out of the Bay of Campeche toward Florida, but that would be next week. We've got plenty of time to, to keep an eye on it. Heavy rain for central and southern Mexico. Alex, back to you. for another great throwback. And since this is the first TBT of the hurricane season, it reminded us of this little gem that we saw a few years ago for the first time here on the Weather Channel. Everybody can use a vacation, but sharing it with the Weather Channel's Jim Cantori can be a little unnerving. <laughs> Look. 
Well, we get it. Usually when Jim shows up, bad weather isn't far behind. But can't the guy get a break when he's on a break? Every vacation. Catch the Weather Channel's Jim Cantori all summer long. Just hopefully not on your beach. Yeah, only Cantori can turn Myrtle Beach into a private beach, right? <laughs> yeah, really. Always that a good, uh, good, funny though, because it's true. You don't want to see him at your spot. Right. I, I can see Cantori doing a movie. Yeah, I should. honestly can. He huh? should. He's like, he's like Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise of the Weather Channel. He's a star. You're yes. right. We have the newest forecast for the severe weather threat right now and into this evening in the southern plains and southeast. We'll be tracking the threat of lightning as well and in 15 minutes give you a look at how scientists are trying to figure out how a sudden surge in lightning strikes could be an early warning for tornadoes. Stay with us. Currently in our area, 85 degrees under fair skies. Tonight, clear to partly cloudy, low 73. Winds south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Friday, except for a few afternoon clouds, mainly sunny. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. High 89. Here's our seven day outlook. Still fresh from a week of storms, and we're on alert for even more. We will show you where the severe weather is heading, also break down the timing. And it may look like just an ordinary line of storms, but there's something strange or different about this morning's storm system. We'll explain what it is and why it brought tropical storm force winds to Kansas. We saw a lightning jump precede the mesocyclone formation as it was getting its act together, and then another lightning jump as the storm was really coming together, really forming. This could be nature's warning system. We break down the science and see if a type of lightning could be an indicator that a dangerous tornado is on the way. From the Weather Channel headquarters in Atlanta, you are watching Weather Center Live. And Dave's dancing. I'm feeling it today. You're feeling it. Yeah. yeah. You're Tomorrow's rocking, Friday. You're you know, the weekend is here, so. It's good stuff. Right. And we thank you so much for joining us on this pre-Friday Thursday. I'm Alex Wilson. And I'm Dave Schwartz. Days of damage have been the story so far this week. It's been one for the record books. Everybody's huh? ready to get this week over with because it's been so stormy. Take a look at oh. the aftermath of storms today. We start in Jonesboro, Arkansas, where strong winds blew over this plane. It flew about 30 feet in the air before it landed upside down. This is a Twitter pic from Josh Martin. And Dave, look at this. This is roof damage in, well, how do you say it? You know this. Blyville. Blyville. Not Blyville. Blyville, Arkansas. Northeast Arkansas, yep. Well, we've got a photo of roof damage. We've seen a lot of roof damage, a lot of reports of things like storage sheds being blown around with right. these very, very strong winds. Dave, show us where the watches are because we're still concerned for that threat. Well, the watches are in North Carolina and you see, this was the storm from last night. That's moving into Tennessee, and that's where we have a severe thunderstorm watch. Tennessee, northern Alabama, and north Georgia, and also back up into the northern plains. Let's get deeper into it with Alex. Yeah, that storm that you're showing right now, 12 hours ago, now moving through parts of Tennessee, even northern sections of Mississippi. We start, though, into the state of South Dakota, where we've got a tornado warning for Minnehaha County. This near the Sioux Falls area, and Sioux Falls is under that tornado warning, Wayne also in the path of this one. You can see that storm off towards the west of Sioux Falls as it moves off towards the south and east. So Sioux Falls could be seeing some hail out of this one. This goes until 3.15 central time. 
Strong winds have been the problem with our complex of thunderstorms that Dave's going to talk a little bit more about, but we want to talk about some of the warnings that are in place right now. First, though, look at that hail threat for Sioux Falls. You can see hail of 1.5 inches, so we're talking golf ball, possibly larger. Here's the damaging wind threat I was mentioning as we've got severe thunderstorm warnings all along this line, this backward C shape showing that threat or indicative of the heavy wind gusts that we have been seeing over hours as this storm has moved from Kansas near Colorado all the way now into the state of Tennessee. Alcorn, Chester, McNary counties, they're under a severe thunderstorm warning. Heavy rain also a huge threat. You can see some flash flood warnings also posted as we have seen a lot of rainfall. Now this line of storms continues to race off towards the east. Savannah by 323. So you see just how quickly that's going to be moving. Camden at 337. So be prepared for gusty winds. If you've got any loose ends out in your yard, loose items, bring them in or you're going to be looking around the neighborhood for them because anything that's not tied down really well or secured is fair game to blow around. We've seen those storms work through the metro area of Memphis. Take a look at this. Off to the northeast of Jackson, 3.1 inches of rain has come down in just three hours. So we're talking about rainfall rates of an inch an hour. And as we've looked at these storms moving through Missouri and Arkansas into Tennessee, this is where we're watching them to go thanks to mid-level winds. So areas into northern Alabama, northern Mississippi, even Georgia, Atlanta area could be impacted by these strong winds if they continue to stay where they are now. Dave, the threat for wind gusts will continue as we head through the next several hours. And I'll tell you, Alex, uh, we'll take a look at some of the damage we're already seeing today. This picture is of roof damage from a training academy for Kansas Highway Patrol. Now, we got this photo from Todd Heilman via Twitter. Several reports of roof damage or roofs actually blown off homes have been reported to the Weather Channel and the Weather Service, but no reports of tornadoes. Now, how does this thing happen? And how is it still alive today? I mean, that same cluster of storms Alex just showed you was right here in western Kansas 12 hours ago. Now, it's much smaller. This is called a, it's a mesoscale convective vortex. You'll see this, there it goes, the spin through eastern Kansas, parts of Missouri, Arkansas, and now into Tennessee. That is nasty. We had just a swath of wind and hail damage reports. Actually, initially a tornadic thunderstorm here in eastern Colorado, and then it marched overnight along a boundary between cooler and warm humid air right along the boundary, what still is on the boundary here in Tennessee, all the way across the Mississippi River. That has gone and gone, and it's like the, it's like the ever ready uh, Energizer uh, bunny. You know, it just keeps on going. Now, here's what you need to know about storms that we call mesoscale convective vortices. Now, they're basically a spinning thunderstorm system. They're not that uncommon, and as we saw today in Kansas, they can be accompanied by very strong winds, even tropical storm force winds, even hurricane force wind gusts. As we've seen today in West Tennessee, Memphis got a piece of that. Jonesboro, Arkansas, Springfield, Missouri, with wind gusts to 60 miles an hour this morning, and it keeps on going. Montgomery, Birmingham, Atlanta, severe thunderstorm watch for that same MCV. Back to you, Alex. Thank you so much, Dave. All right, let's take it to Boston, where it hasn't been the greatest day. Although, I will say, looking at the camera now, we have seen some improvement from our check last hour when it was raining. You could see the fog, the mist. Things have settled down a bit. We still have the clouds over the city of Boston, but here's the best news of all. Warmer and drier weather headed your way for the weekend. So, not much outside time out there today, but things are coming. Good things are coming for the weekend. There is some light rain still coming down around Boston, further off towards the south and east, but you can see a lot of that heaviest rain has transitioned off towards the north and uh, east of the Boston area. So still a little bit off towards the southwest, I should say, where there's the light rain into parts of Rhode Island, Massachusetts. Visible satellite, we still have plenty of cloud cover around coastal sections of Maine, down into Massachusetts and Rhode Island. Seeing some breaks in the clouds, though, through sections of eastern New York, around Albany, even up into Vermont.
Vermont, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania. As we go into the weekend, that cool storm system is moving out and replacing it will be some milder high pressure. So more sunshine headed your way for the weekend, also warmer temperatures. That is great news for those of you who maybe have kids sporting events to attend this weekend. You want to get those underway near 80 tomorrow in New York. Saturday offering up even warmer temperatures, mid 80s in Philly, low 80s in Pittsburgh. Dave, over to you. One of the hot spots right now is southeastern South Dakota. There's a tornado warning in effect for Minnehaha County, Sioux Falls, and Wayne right in line for this perhaps tornadic thunderstorm. It'd be just to the south of due west of Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Tornado warning till 315 Central. We'll be right back. finish. Fruit on one side, cool on the other. Icebreakers Duo, a fruity cool way to break the ice. This is one way to keep your underwear clean. Here's another. Try Charmin Ultra Strong. Thanks, Mom. Make me proud, honey. Charmin Ultra Strong has a DuraClean texture and it's four times stronger than the leading bargain brand. Enjoy the go with Charmin Ultra Strong. The exquisite Toyota Highlander has ever been. Ah, ah, ah. Chicken. A computer from the future. It's a giant freaky room for eggs. Ooh, yeah. But it ain't got no room for four eggs. I'm spacing out on all this space to it. No, we ain't got no room for four eggs. For four eggs, we ain't got no room. The 2014 Highlander. Toyota. Let's go places. What? Visiting world of Harry Potter, now with Diagon Alley and the Hogwarts Express. Come and live it. Universal Orlando Resort. Currently in our area, 85 degrees under fair skies. Tonight, clear to partly cloudy, low 73. Winds south at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Whoa. Friday, except for a few afternoon clouds, mainly sunny. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. High 89. Here's our seven day outlook. Series. This is a dangerous job. Thank you, Thank you, Catching Hell, Sundays at 9 on the Weather Channel. Oh! What is it? There are no marshmallows in this box of Lucky Charms. Huh. Weird. <laughs> Seriously? What? They're, They're magically, magically delicious. delicious. Bridgestone tires perform best when you need it most. Like when Julie Bowen is late taking her son to a birthday party. Okay, people, you, front seat, you, ooh, out of my way. Sir? Julie has our new Drive Guard tires, the next generation of run flat technology. Oh, good, nails. Oh, these tires are engineered to take a puncture and then drive up to 50 miles. 50 miles? Great, because I remember the present, but I forgot the kid. Yeah, I, yeah, you need to check. I'm not sure. Oh, I forgot. I have a lot of kids. Get 20% off Charbroil Commercial Series True Infrared Gas Grills at Lowe's. Now to the disastrous drought in the Southern Plains. Drinking water in drought-stricken Wichita Falls, Texas, just got more expensive. Now that the city is under stage five water restrictions, homeowners are seeing extra fees on their water bills. Depending on the amount of water you use, the city can charge anywhere from six to 24 bucks. And don't get caught watering your lawn. That fine could be as much as $2,000 just for watering the lawn. Makes good sense. 
Water is more valuable than gold out here in the Southern Plains. It has been dry and hot, but there is some relief ahead in Wichita Falls, especially where it's just so hot and dry right now. More clouds on the horizon. Wouldn't that be good? In general, the Southern Plains is better off than we were a week ago. But there are some kind of holes in that. And Wichita Falls is one of those places. For example, right here along the Red River. Well, a frontal boundary sits right here now. We won't be over 100 degrees as we were in Amarillo yesterday. We'll be about 10 degrees cooler. Well, a frontal boundary is the focal point for weather, for clouds, for showers, for much needed rain. And that's what we anticipate happening across the Southern Plains and then into flood ravaged areas of Tennessee. But we're hoping for good things here in Wichita Falls where our current temperature is 99. Rain chances going up the next five days. Back to you, Alex. Thanks, Dave. Look at this video from overnight in Wichita, Kansas. Yet another amazing lightning display captured on camera. And imagine if one flash of lightning was all scientists needed to predict dangerous severe weather like tornadoes. Mike Bettis takes a look at the science behind research that is looking to the skies for some potentially life-saving severe weather answers. The crackle of lightning one of the most recognizable features of a thunderstorm. And a sudden increase in the amount of lightning could warn of more danger before it's even seen on radar. If we see a lightning jump, we can tell that the storm is increasing. The potential for severe weather has increased. A lightning jump is a rapid surge in total lightning within a thunderstorm that's caused by a strengthening updraft. Researchers have documented this jump in many storms that produce large hail, damaging winds, and tornadoes. But the question is, can a lightning jump be directly correlated to tornado development? Lightning jump is a precursor to uh, mesocyclone formation. A precursor that was present before the deadly tornadoes in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, and Moore, Oklahoma. We saw a lightning jump precede the mesocyclone formation as it was getting its act together, and then another lightning jump as the storm was really coming together and really forming. The research team has found a lightning jump usually happens 5 to 20 minutes prior to a storm intensifying. And they hope meteorologists will use the information to increase warning times. It's just an additional metric, additional tool to help the forecaster have additional confidence to issue those warnings. And while lightning has been researched for many years, the study of its relationship to tornadoes is in its infancy. For Science Behind, I'm Mike Bettis. Oh. All right, thank you so much, Mike. I want to take a look now again at that tornado warning out in South Dakota. This for Lincoln and Minnehaha counties, Harrisburg, Sioux Falls, T on the path of this, but really the area that we're concerned about now out of the Sioux Falls area, Dave. Looks like the worst has moved through Sioux mm -hmm. Falls. It looks like the tornado would be just to the south of Sioux Falls. So the wind, the heavy rain, the hail that we saw in Sioux Falls, that's over. South side of town, moving southeast toward Harrisburg. Tornado warning. We'll have more after the break. Your mom could do anything, even make rainbows appear. Now she could use a hand. Comfort Keepers provides a variety of in-home services while truly connecting. Comfort Keepers, keeping the comforts of home. Call now to learn more. You may have to travel like this. But at Courtyard, you can choose to stay like this. And enjoy more of this, this, and this. It's a new stay. Courtyard. A message from the law offices of Pulaski and Middleman. A recent report estimates up to 100 million have been exposed to asbestos. To compensate those affected, trusts have been established with $38 billion in assets. We urge those diagnosed with lung cancer or mesothelioma to contact us for a free consultation. Call 800-950-MISO. For nearly two decades, we've been fighting for families harmed by asbestos. Call 800-950-MISO. 
mesothelioma. Don't. It's KFC game night. Dinner at the table is approaching, I think, something like 12 minutes. Thanks to 12 extra crispy tenders, four dipping sauces, two sides, and biscuits. And a free ice spy game right on the bucket. I kind of want to do this every Friday. Hey, look at you. You're an emailing, texting master of the digital universe. But do you protect yourself? Apparently not. When you access everything, you give everyone access to everything about you. But that's okay. While you do your thing, we'll be here at LifeLock doing our thing, watching out for things your credit card alone can't, and relentlessly protecting your identity. Get LifeLock protection and live life free. Discover Brookside and discover an exciting combination of tastes. Rich, dark chocolate covering soft centers, flavored with exotic fruit juices. It's chocolate and fruit flavors like you've never experienced before. Discover Brookside. Check. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. <gasps> no! Energizer protects your devices from damaging leaks. performance review, that corporate trial by fire when every slacker gets his due. And yet, there's someone around the office who hasn't had a performance review in a while. Someone whose poor performance is slowing down the entire organization. I'm looking at you, phone company DSL. Check your speed. See how fast your internet can be. Switch now and add voice and TV for $34.90. Comcast Business. Built for business. Before the intervention, before I went to rehab, when it got really out of hand, I was calling out of work. I wasn't coming home. My husband and I were arguing. My responsibility to my business, to my clients, and to others just went completely out the door. That's when we knew we had to do something. We needed to all jump in, and my son felt confident that this person could help, and he did. Since her intervention, she is an absolute delight, and I can't stop smiling when I see her. If someone you know is struggling with drug or alcohol addiction, please call or visit us at interventionnow.com. With all the good years ahead, look for the experience and commitment to go the distance with you. Call now to request your free decision guide. A Weather Channel original series. Every time I shoot a fish and I'm wrestling them, that's when I'm scared. Catching Hell, Sundays at 9 on The Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 85 degrees under fair skies. Tonight, clear to partly cloudy, low 73. Winds south at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Friday, except for a few afternoon clouds, mainly sunny. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. High 89. Here's our seven day outlook. us here on Weather Center Live. Nettleton, Arkansas, you are looking at a four-wheeler that went flying and ended up stuck in the side of this building. We have been talking about some incredibly strong winds, and here's some visual confirmation of what kind of winds we're dealing with. Plenty of reports of folks, uh, Jackson Energy customers, also without power. But, Dave, I think this might get the most incredible picture of the day bragging rights. That's definitely number one of the day. Just awesome. How much wind would it have taken to do that? And not just, you know, pick it up, but force it into and let it hang there. This cluster of thunders, this is the same cluster. It's moving across West Tennessee. This is double trouble. Not only damaging winds along the front edge of this big bow that we like to call an MCV, but this is now moving into an area that picked up four to eight inches of rain this morning, just north of Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. 
the only weather-related death of the day took place when somebody drove across a flooded out road. Part of the road had eroded away, the car went 150 yards, and that was that. Could have been just going out for a quart of milk. Double trouble, West Tennessee, northern Mississippi, north Alabama, north Georgia this evening. Back to you, Alex. Thank you so much, Dave. All right, we got to talk about your tropical update now because we do have an area down in the Bay of Campeche that we're going to be watching for the threat of some development. Now, it's a low threat. We're talking about a 30% chance. Right now, winds 35 miles an hour, but whether it develops or not, it's still going to offer up some heavy rain for this part of Mexico. As we look at the model forecast for Invest 91 or 90L, I should say, this is the one that we are watching to really not move much. It's going to stay pretty stationary. Area. It's fighting strong upper level winds, but regardless, it's going to offer up some heavy rain three to five inches in these areas. You see shaded in yellow. Dave, over to you. Well, Alex, severe hail damaged vehicles all across the Midwest this week, including thousands of brand new cars at local dealerships. Here's how you deal with it. We're actually going to show you how to remove some of the hail dents from your car. That's going to be coming up a little bit later. But Hayes Freeman from Atlanta Dings joins me right now to talk about these hail sales because we had so many cars damaged by hail in Nebraska. You probably heard that. It sure. happens here in the south as well. Now, should people take advantage of these hail sales and what should they know? Sure. Uh, one of the first things I, I would want people to know is that hail damage can cause some pretty extensive damage to cars. Uh, and not just cosmetically, but you can break plastic parts that can cause leaking. So uh, there is substantial damage that can happen but also it can be fairly expensive too so I would highly recommend that a car be checked out and uh, a, a professional estimate be written for a car before someone buy it from a hail sale so you know what you're getting into yeah they might say hey three thousand dollars off sure. but it may actually cost more it to may. fix it yes very much now here at the weather channel we talk about the hail the bigger the, the hail is the worse the damage is going to be how big does hail have to be to see dents in the hood sure of the car? that's a great question most hail that falls doesn't damage cars uh, a hailstone's got to be about uh, the size of a quarter or maybe a ping pong ball to start damaging cars. A lot of very tiny hail falls in, you know, heavy rainstorms and a little pea-sized hailstone's not going to damage anything. All right, people want to save money. They think they can do it themselves. Sure. <laughs> Would you recommend that? They sell kits that do that. Yeah, I've seen them on TV. I've seen them in the uh, auto body store or the auto parts stores. Uh, and the honest answer is no. It takes uh, it takes years to get really great at paintless dent removal. This is a skill that we practice for years to get good at. And no, you cannot just go pick up a kit at a store and make your car look good with it. No. I mean, I wouldn't do it. I'd no. probably make it worse. It's possible to make it worse. In fact, I've seen people try those and then bring it to me and I can't even fix it because they've ruined it. All right, well, we are going to show you guys at home the professional way to fix the dents, uh, the hail dents in your car. That's going to be coming up a little bit later. Back to you guys. I'm sorry for your loss. Still doesn't feel real. Our time together was so short. Well, since you have Progressive's total loss coverage, we were able to replace your total bike with a brand new one. The tank, the exhaust. Well, she looks just like Roxy. You know, I bet she's in a better place now. I know she is. I feel it in the heart. Actually, the old Roxy's over at the junkyard. Getting you back on a brand new bike. Now that's progressive. Uh -huh. I got you. Oh. You can't count on me. Oh. 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 I'll be there. And I know. Remember when only Dad could save the day? Sorry. The all-new Genesis with sensory surround safety from Hyundai. Grow. It's what we do. We grow big celebrations and personal victories. We grow new beginnings and better endings. Grand gestures. Happier happy hours. So let's grow something greater with Miracle Grow. What will you grow? Need to be salty and sweet? Harness the power of my new salted caramel peanuts. Guys, I've been working on this all night. Are the sound effects necessary? Mm. Are you necessary? Randy. Todd, what do you think? I like your hair. Just turn them down a bit. They're deafening. Mm. How about we turn you down? What do you think, Todd? Make them louder. <sighs> Salty and sweet. A new way to harness the power of the peanut. Give 
dad a gift he'll love. Get this border cable compressor for just $99 at Lowe's. Average. It's out there. Convincing you that one donut hole couldn't possibly lead to another. Beat Average with GNC. Listen up, Thunder Dragons. It's time to get a hotel. Hey, Razor, check this out. We can save big with Priceline Express deals. You know what, man? These guys ain't no dragons. They're cold. These deals are legit. Hey, we're cool. She's cool. We're cool. Priceline Express deals are totally legit. Check this. Thousands of people book them every day and score killer deals. Now Priceline is piling on even more savings with its summer sale. So grab your giant beach towel and enter code SUMMER14. Look at me and join the deals. There's nothing I would rather do, nowhere I'd rather be. There's nothing that quite makes me feel the way you do here with me. I'm happy as I can be, cause I have you and you have me. I'm happy as I can be, cause I have you and you have me. The Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Now with Diagon Alley and the Hogwarts Express. Come and live it. Universal Orlando Resort. Currently in our area, 85 degrees under fair skies. Tonight, clear to partly cloudy, low 73. Winds south at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Friday, except for a few afternoon clouds, mainly sunny. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. High 89. Here's our seven-day outlook. A Weather Channel original series. This is a dangerous job. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Catching Hell, Sundays at 9 on the Weather Channel. The urban sprawl is heading upward. And we're gonna have more on that story in just a few in regards to hurricanes, but look at this. Perhaps hurricane force winds when you talk about gusts 70 plus miles an hour. This is Nettleton, Arkansas, where a four-wheeler was picked up and it appears lofted into the side of this building. Deep enough that it stayed there. Right. It didn't fall back down to earth. We're, and you know, we were talking during the break. It's not like this was blown into the side of the building and caused a little dent. No, it's right. on the, on near the roof it's of this building and in it. On the, the picture of the day, this from severe thunderstorms that rumbled across Arkansas this morning. All right, thank you so much for staying with us for Weather Center Live. I'm Alex Wilson. And I'm Dave Schwartz. We've seen some damage over the last few days over many states from Colorado to the Carolinas. Yeah, we've also seen some amazing sights like this one at the Jonesboro Airport in Arkansas. This plane flew about 30 feet in the air before it landed on its top. So upside down, you can see the wing bent up pretty badly on this one as well. This is a Twitter picture from Josh Martin. Another one coming in from Truman, Arkansas, showing the wind damage there. Looks like a tornado, but apparently straight line winds caused this damage. Uh, the top part of this structure completely blown off. You can see the insulation on the ground surrounding this building and plenty of tree and power line damage reports also coming in. We're hearing of power outages. And Dave, you've got more on today's severe storms and the threat. I sure do. I'll tell you, this stuff is still kicking. We've got new stuff. We've got old stuff that's been going all night long. This is the new stuff. This is South Dakota. This is Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and that's the radar, which is what all this is about. But here is a supercell thunderstorm 
and the hook on it, just west of Harrisburg, south of Sioux Falls. Now we saw a funnel cloud at the airport about an hour ago. This is new, and that looks pretty serious. Harrison, Harrisburg getting hit right now. If there's a tornado here, it's just to the southwest of Harrisburg, and it's moving southeast quickly. Harrisburg, South Dakota, take cover. Split Rock, also South Dakota. Then we head down the Missouri River into the Mississippi River Valley to find the remnants of last night's thunderstorms. Now in Tennessee, northern Mississippi and Alabama. It's double trouble here. Not only are there winds gusting over 60 miles an hour with wind damage along the, the head of that bow, but also some very heavy rain now over areas that saw heavy rain. These thunderstorms, this complex will move into Alabama and Georgia a severe thunderstorm watch is in effect for Huntsville and Birmingham till 9, Atlanta till 10. These will move in around sunset in the Atlanta metropolitan area, severe weather in eastern North Carolina. That covers a big area, Alex. Yes, it does. Plenty of areas to watch. And even though this is a bit quieter than we've been over the past few days, there could still be something dangerous developing out in the Plain States. That's why Mike Bettis and the Tornado Track team are staying on the road. And Mike, we want to check in with you again. Has anything changed and uh, has your status or, or location changed? Our location hasn't changed. We are still in Hudson, Colorado. We may try to drift just a little bit farther south because I want to show you what's building just south of Denver near Parker. This is south of Aurora, south of I-70. Look at this big mushroom cloud that has formed off to our south. And that is a big thunderstorm that is really beginning to build, looking much more impressive on the radar right now. Still does not have a severe thunderstorm warning on it, so we're not meeting that criteria for winds 58 plus miles per hour or that one inch diameter hail. But I wouldn't be surprised if that does happen. I think what we're getting now is basically an old boundary that's laid down maybe just south of Denver over toward I-70 and that's where a lot of these storms will begin to fire today. We're getting a little bit of upslope flow here that's enhancing the lift in the atmosphere. We think that that storm is likely to go over I-70 maybe somewhere between Bennett and Lyman maybe near Lyman again which got hit last night pretty hard with it looked like a tornado at least a tornado vortex signature on radar that came right past the town last night. Uh, this is going to be the MO of storms today, Alex. We'll see more storms fire up through the afternoon. Torcon 4 in southeastern Colorado, but a lot of real estate, as you know, from basically the Rocky Mountains all the way into the southeast in danger today. Nearly a dozen states, so be aware of the weather. Know where to go with those tornado warnings are issued and park the car in the garage today. Could be some big hailers today. Good advice. Thank you so much, Mike. We'll be checking in with you throughout the afternoon and evening. I want to show you this picture coming in out of the Little Rock, Arkansas area of some Amatis clouds. This one from Sarah Sutter. And remember our Amaze Me segment. These uh, basically pockets of, of sinking air from that cloud, but a great sight. Look at that. Those are some incredible. Uh, she wrote that her kids were calling them bubble clouds. Kind of looks like it. Always a fun sight to see, but fortunately they've come at the price with some severe weather across parts of the south and east, and these storms are going to be persistent. We're not done with the storm threat today. Around Atlanta, you can see a few showers around the noon in area, but mostly cloudy for the city itself. 84 degrees. We are under a severe thunderstorm watch for Cobb and Fulton County for Atlanta. So not to cab eastern parts of the city or the metro area not included. There's that line or complex of storms bringing gusty winds and heavy rainfall moving through parts of central Tennessee going to be approaching portions of northern Alabama. As we get into the weekend though a frontal boundary settles and stalls over this region and that will allow storms to fire along the front day after day. So it's going to be a focusing point tomorrow. Severe storms once again for Memphis for Birmingham for Atlanta Saturday scattered thunder storms for many of the same locations and guess what Sunday offers up more of the same so if you've got pool plans you need to keep an eye to the sky Dave. All right, will do. Now we're headed to the tropics. You know, the number of people moving to live along the ocean continues to rise and to make room for the growing population cities such as Miami are growing up instead of out. Now, unfortunately, those towering high rises are targets for hurricanes. Senior hurricane specialist Brian Norcross explains what's being done to protect them from ferocious winds. People live in high rises for the spectacular views like here in Miami. But this far above the ground, the winds are stronger as well. So if you're here in any hurricane, you really know it. 
Just ask Tamara Yizabal. In August 2005, she rode out Hurricane Katrina on the 30th floor of her condo tower in Miami when the storm was barely a Category 1. We closed these shutters, closed the windows, locked them, and by then the water was gushing in through the doors, coming up all the way to ankles. The howling wind was inside the house, it was terrifying. Later that year, Miami high-rises took another hit as Hurricane Wilma shattered glass on four of the city's largest buildings. It was a wake-up call, and now new towers have stricter codes for glass installed above 30 feet. The key change that was made after Hurricane Wilma was requiring the safety glazed material. In the event that it shatters, it either breaks into small pieces or remains adhered to the building. In other buildings, architects are using shapely designs to help disperse wind loads. You'll see in Icon Bay the balconies are serrated and they create a design in a pattern with this zigzagging of balconies that, like I say in Lehman's terms, sort of confuse the wind. These same codes and building techniques are used to create safer, stronger buildings wherever hurricanes are a threat. This city has perfected the design standards for resisting wind water penetration, and flooding. If you do what we do in Florida, you're covered anywhere in the world. In theory, the super strong South Florida building code will keep new buildings secure in just about any hurricane. But remember, Wilma and Katrina were only category ones here, so they really have not yet been tested. In Miami, I'm Brian Norcross, the Weather Channel. Ahead on Weather Center Live, don't miss our top five video countdown. It's the best from around the country over the last 24 hours, and there are some good ones. There are some good ones. Let's see which one we pick as number one. Currently in our area, 84 degrees under fair skies. Tonight, clear to partly cloudy, low 73. Winds south at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Friday, except for a few afternoon clouds, mainly sunny. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. High 89. Here's our seven day outlook. Kentucky Bourbon Barbecue Sauce. A bold new taste for our St. Louis style ribs with the perfect amount of heat. Also tastes great on our rotisserie chicken. Kentucky Bourbon Barbecue Sauce. Only for a limited time at Boston Market. Make your way into Boston Market. Time for something good. This family may love their treat, but a colony of ants will use these branches on a roof line. I like the Autobahn. But I know where they are. Going from here to there. And what time of year to bait them with protein? One to bait with fat. I just shut down their freeway like a jackknife 18 wheeler. To catch a pest, you've got to think like a pest. Not just in any home, in your home. Orkin, pest control down to a science. Haven't we always wanted our own island? One without car horns or stoplights but one filled with forts and uncharted paths, carriage rides and bike rides, and games we play all day, where the sun can't wait to wake up, and adventure waits around every corner. Nestled in the deep blue waters of Lake Huron, our island is Mackinac Island. Our island is pure Michigan. Your trip begins at michigan.org. Someone say burn. Try Alka-Seltzer Relief Chews. They work just as fast and are proven to taste better than Tom's Smoothie's assorted fruit. Mmm, amazing. Yeah, I get that a lot. Alka-Seltzer Heartburn Relief Chews. Enjoy the relief. <laughs> Celebrate Dad. 
Get him this Black & Decker 20-volt trimmer for just $99 at Lowe's. It handled the great hoagie fight of 2011. 89 thunderstorms. And 90 spilled drinks. And the hallway of 10,000 fingerprints. Olympic paints and stains are made to endure busy homes, so they're guaranteed for real life. Insist on Olympic. And introducing new Olympic Elite Advanced Stain and Sealant in One with exclusive color-rich technology and four-season protection package for beauty that lasts from America's most trusted brand since 1938. Exclusively at Lowe's. When you've got the 2014 North American Truck of the Year offering the most innovative cargo bed in its class, you can do a lot. You just don't have to hear a lot. Introducing the all-new Chevy Silverado from the family of the most dependable, longest-lasting pickups on the road. Use special pricing to get a total value of $8,100 on this Chevy Silverado 1500 All-Star Edition. Chevrolet. Find new roads. What's your favorite kind of Cheerios? Honey nut. But chocolate is my other favorite. Oh, yeah. And frosted. What's your most favorite of all? Mm, the kind I have with you. Me too. Bridgestone tires perform best when you need it most. Like when Julie Bowen is late taking her son to a birthday party. Okay, people, you, front seat, you, out of my way. Julie has our new Drive Guard tires, the next generation of run flat technology. Oh, good, nails. Well, these tires are engineered to take a puncture and then drive up to 50 miles. 50 miles? Great, because I remember the present, but I forgot the kid. Yeah, I, yeah, you need to check. I'm not I forgot. I have a lot of kids. All right, Dave and I have spoken. This is the video of the day. You know, if it wasn't a video, Dave, you would argue that this could be our top, top five video, not just of the day, but really of the week, even the month. They say that the thunderstorm wind lifted that thing off and stuck it into that building. And that's not a tricycle, that's a four-wheeler. So we're talking about a sturdy piece of machinery. We're not talking about, uh, you know, a tent, Dave. That's crazy, out of Nettleton, Arkansas. Let's talk about where the storms are now. Give you a look at southern sections of the state of Tennessee into northern Mississippi, northern Alabama getting in on the mix as well. We've got severe thunderstorm warnings. We've also got flash flood warnings as flooding has been a big concern and caused a lot of danger as well. Lewis, Perry, Wayne counties, these under a severe thunderstorm warning. These storms have been bringing some gusty winds. And Dave, if that photo wasn't enough to prove it, yes, gusty winds are what we're watching for. That's almost unbelievable. You know, thousands of people are looking for a dent repair specialist after several weeks of several storms this week. And we have one in the parking lot right now to show you how the process works. Kelly Cass is standing by upstairs with more. As you know, this has really been the year of big hail. We've had a lot of hail this season. We can have it down here in the Atlanta area as well. Hayes Freeman joins me now from Atlanta Dings. And we actually have a car right here that has had some hail damage. And you're going to show me how to get rid of some of these dents. Yeah, that's correct. So most hail damage these days is repaired with paintless dent removal. That's a process where rather than filling up a dent with Bondo and sanding it and repainting it, we're just going to bend the metal back out where it belongs. The, the metal got dented in with a hailstone. Mm -hmm. And we'll just basically push it back. We bend it back to where it belongs. And you wouldn't normally do it in these conditions in direct sunlight, right? No. You got to bring this inside. Yes, yeah. We're working outside here for now, but we don't normally fix hail damage outside. We would want to bring it inside and put it under light so we can see everything. Mm -hmm. And by the way, I would recommend that uh, if you were going to have a car estimated mm -hmm. for the hail sale that we talked about, I, I would want it to be brought inside and really looked at inside because you're going to see a lot more of the damage while you're inside. And when you give your estimates, you're actually counting all the dings yes. on the car. Yeah. We count every single ding so that we know exactly what we're repairing and can tell a customer exactly what it would cost. All right, we have under a minute. Show me how it's done. Okay, so uh, we got a dent right here. I'm actually going beneath the, the hood here, mm -hmm. uh, and I've slid a tool up under this brace, and I'm actually going to just, as we say, massage the dent out. I'm actually just going to twist this tool and uh, just bend the dented metal back to where it belongs. Okay. And. Uh, I might be able to do that in just about a minute here, and you can see it uh, rising up. I see it moving, yeah. It's kind of bubbling. 
So obviously much easier to do inside a garage where you have a special light on it. Any other special tools that you, you're used to do this? Uh, yeah, sometimes when we cannot fix a dent from behind, there's a couple places on the car where we can't get underneath the dent. Mm -hmm. And in that case, we would uh, actually pull the dent out. Okay. Uh, we will uh, glue tabs onto the metal and okay. then use a slide hammer to uh, pull out the tab, which, which pulls the dent up with it. All right. Good job, Hayes. I see it actually moving right yeah, there. Yeah, good job. It's coming out. All right, thank you very much for joining us today. Back to you guys. Great. Kelly Cass getting her GED from Commercial Trade School. She's, huh? Wonderful. she's a jack of all trades. Time now for our top five. You gonna leave me hanging? Weather video, <laughs> sorry, baby. <laughs> You're the meanest. <laughs> All right, let's roll it. Roll that beautiful uh, storm footage. video. Yeah. All right, let's start with number five. Supercell in western Nebraska last night. You've said no words for this one. Just right. a beautiful Next. scene, but a stormy scene. Yeah, all these are, are, are of storms. That's the, 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 look at that wall cloud. That's where tornadoes come out of, right? Yeah, we see that lowering of the base of the cloud. This was sent in from our tornado track team, including yeah. Mike Bettis Mike and Bettis, Mark Elliott. Right. And there was a gust NATO up here in Scotts Bluff, Nebraska. Huh? That's pretty cool. Out on the gust front, these are usually not long lasting. But right, and not too intense, but yeah. yeah. Number two, this video also from our team in the field, lightning last night in Anton, Colorado. We have seen quite a bit of lightning shows coming in from uh -oh. these storms Sioux over Falls, the past South few Dakota, years. they were recording constant lightning. Heck yeah, they yep. were. All right, number one, reports of a twister touching down near Spalding, Nebraska. Now it's in the foreground. Right, you're it's about to see it. It's the sunlit dust yes. in the foreground. That's, That's where it is. That's it beginning to form, and then you're right. going to be seeing it approach the storm chasers camp. Yeah. Severe storms, heavy hail, also no in that funnel area. Plow. No funnel plow with that one. Hey, you can upload your videos anytime. Weather.com slash photos. In pursuit of all things awesome, amazing, and that's epic, bro, we've forgotten just how good good is. Good is setting a personal bet before going for a world record. Good is swinging to get on base before swinging for a home run. Good is choosing not to overshoot the moon, but to land right on it and do some experiments. So start your day off good with a coffee that's good cup after cup. Maxwell House. Good to the last drop. As a commercial beekeeper, Dave tracks the Weather Channel forecast closely, predicting when crops across the country will bloom and need bees for pollination. At a moment's notice, he loads and trucks thousands of bees, keeping his eye on the weather to ensure his fragile cargo makes it to the blooms on time. When the bees and blooms matter, Dave turns to the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 84 degrees under fair skies. Tonight, clear to partly cloudy, low 73. Winds south at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Friday, except for a few afternoon clouds, mainly sunny. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. High 89. Here's our seven day outlook. Brookside chocolate, you discover an exciting combination of tastes. Rich, dark chocolate, covering soft centers, flavored with exotic fruit juices, like pomegranate, goji with raspberry, and acai with blueberry. It's chocolate and fruit flavors like you've never experienced before. Discover Brookside. Atlantis, for one week only, receive summer rates from $59 per person per night. And kids eat breakfast and dinner free. Plus, free access to the largest water park and casino in the Caribbean. Offer ends June 7th. This Father's Day, let's turn our hero into a superhero. Let's give him the power. 
consult with his sidekick and equip him with all the super toys he needs, all on a mild-mannered budget, so he can spend some quality time back in his lair. Then come out strong and save the day. Let's. Every child follows a path in life. For many, that path will lead them to a door, a door that gives them a place to grow, to learn, to belong, a place to forge their future. Because while many doors open, these doors transform. They did for us. Support your local boys and girls clubs. Great futures start here. Welcome to the world of Chopped. I am quaking in my boots. This season is the most challenging. You don't have any time left. Jaw-dropping. Oh. And heart-plunging yet. Ooh. And I love every minute of it. All new Chopped, Tuesday night at 10 on Food Network. Congratulations to the Cova Luthero Bahamas for being named one of the best 70 hotels in the world by Travel and Leisure. For more information, call 1-800-314-8013. America's Morning Headquarters with Sam Champion. Not just a morning forecast, a morning show. AMHQ with Sam Champion, the Weather Channel's brand new morning show. All right, thank you for staying with us here on Weather Center Live. We have been tracking some severe weather through parts of the state of Tennessee, northern Alabama. We've got severe thunderstorm warnings. And then the green boxes, those are flash flood watches or warnings because there's been flash flooding going on with very heavy rainfall. This line of storms moving about 60 miles an hour. So we expect this in the Birmingham, Alabama area in about two hours. So 543 local time. This is going to be working through right during your late day commute, bringing some very strong wind gusts along with it. Also, you know, Notice Nashville. We're going to be watching this area of thunderstorms moving a little bit more towards the east. So I think southern sections of the Nashville metro area around Franklin, for example, they're going to be watching for this 453 central time. So just about an hour from now, you're going to be seeing the potential for some very heavy rain around the Music City and perhaps some gusty winds. But winds have been a huge issue today. We'll be watching that through the state of Alabama, perhaps even into northwestern sections of Georgia as well. We're also watching that watch out in eastern North Carolina. Dave. All right, time to head to the tropics. And unfortunately, this is the way it looks in some low-lying areas in southern Mexico. Thanks to tropical depression, Boris. Boris is now no longer an organized system, but it's still bought plenty of rain in here. No wind, no problems with the tides, no waves, no flooding. Just very heavy rain. And that quite often is uh, what happens here with a very weak tropical system. Slow mover, you get some very heavy rain out of the deal. So here we go in uh, your tropical update. And that takes us to Mexico first. And we'll show you what we've got out here. And uh, well, there really isn't much, but there is an area of concern out here in the Bay of Campeche. Some tropical development is possible over the next couple of days out here, southwest Gulf of Mexico, to the tune of a 30% chance, according to the National Hurricane Center. We'll keep you posted on that. Radar is not showing anything out there right now. Just some onshore winds here south of Mexico, up toward Tampico. But we'll keep you posted. On the Pacific side, no other problem. Hurricane season has officially started in the Atlantic, but it's quiet out there, too. That's the latest from the tropical desk. Back to you, Alex. Well, it is Thursday, and that means it's time for another great throwback. And since this is the first TBT of the hurricane season, it reminded us of this little gem that we first saw a few years ago right here on the Weather Channel. Everybody can use a vacation, but sharing it with the Weather Channel's Jim Cantori can be a little unnerving. Look, we get it. Usually when Jim shows up, bad weather isn't far behind. But can't the guy get a break when he's on a break? <laughs> hey.
every vacation. I mean, I guess the guy's got some private beaches. What I guess so. Well, wherever he goes, he has a private beach. Yeah, he, yeah. I think. He, oh, oh no, he's uh, here. Beach. Yeah, guys, I wish I was on a private beach right now, but uh, <laughs> you know that's the way it goes. You got to work sometime. But that that was fun. I, I had, to be honest with you, just got a little inside information. I had all I could do to keep a straight face when that dog was barking at me. <laughs> I mean, I had all I could do. That was just that was the best. That was the funnest part. I liked how that little guy was even like, I I know you. I I know enough. Well, they say dogs know too. He's like, this guy means bad weather news. But does that really happen to you on vacations? Uh, yes, it does. Yes, it does. As a matter of fact, I just was flying up to Hartford this past weekend to go uh, play in uh, Tony Saragusa's charity golf tournament, and people were like, Jim, what's going on up here? I thought it was supposed yeah, to be nice yeah. Sunday, best day of the year, which it was, but, you know, it happens. This That was Wrightsville Beach. They were happy to have us. Uh, I'd like to do a sequel to that, guys. Yeah, I was going to say, you, yeah. you, that must have been a terrible shoot for you, you know, have to go to oh, the it beach. Was awful. It was awful. Go shopping. I do like this guy, though, who, With who bread. just strong yeah. arms bread into his cart. <laughs> that was funny. That was uh, This guy, I don't know how he actually didn't break his leg doing that on the on the bike. There's the dog. There's your buddy. Yeah. Can we, we cleared out that beach. Can uh, we come out with a DVD of Jim Cantore's most memorable moments? People would buy it. Yeah, some I of those we actually that. can't show on the air, Dave. <laughs> just, uh, just FYI, buddy. Yeah. That'll uh, be for Dave Schwartz's private screening room, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's we the only spot we'll show that stuff. I love that spot. I just love that spot. Yeah, and a, and a great thing for our throwback Thursday for hurricane season. I'm sure you're going to be out there, uh, you know, if we've got them this year. And uh, yeah, maybe hopefully people it won't get the be bad next, vibes. Uh, next week, right, guys? Perhaps. Yeah, yeah. yeah we'll see. All righty. Well, Jim thank Cantori. you, Jim. All right, we've got more on the severe threat for the evening hours. Kelly Cass, Jim Cantori, and Paul Goodlow. And Paul Goodlow. It's a triple threat coming up right here on the Weather Channel. We'll see you right after this. Currently in our area, 84 degrees under fair skies. Tonight, clear to partly cloudy, low 73. Winds south at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Friday, except for a few afternoon clouds, mainly sunny. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. High 89. Here's our seven day outlook. start blowing and raining and hailing and we just barely made it over there and down. Well, that man witnessed uh, high winds blowing through Hugo, Nebraska, and we are talking over 100 mile per hour winds where that kind of wind is heading right now. And what can you do when wind and hail leave your car looking like this? I'll let you know if those bumps and bruises on your car can be fixed. And you saw this brilliant lightning storm from our tornado track team live on our air last night. We're going to check in with Mike Bettis and see whether we're tracking severe weather right now. From the Weather Channel headquarters in Atlanta, you are watching Weather Center Live. Hi everyone, welcome to Weather Center Live. I'm Kelly Cass. And I'm Paul Goodlow. We've got high winds and heavy rain from the plains all the way through the southeast. That's right. Just take a look at some of this damage from straight line winds in Truman, Arkansas from earlier this afternoon. We actually saw a plane flipped over and you can see all the debris strewn about there on the ground. Looks like a, some kind of a structure, either a house or a business that also lost part of a roof. Yeah, again, looks uh, eerily like uh, tornado damage, but no, sometimes it's just strong winds and we 
We've had measured winds 90, 100 miles per hour. And take a look at this. The aftermath at Jonesboro, Arkansas Airport from thunderstorms that pushed on through there this afternoon. And uh, this plane flew about 30 feet in the air before crashing back down. I wouldn't call it a landing. It's a crash landing because <laughs> there was nobody in that plane, fortunately. But right. that's how strong the winds were. It picked up that plane and tossed it about. In fact, our Jim Cantori is tracking where those thunderstorms are right now. He joins us from the Global Forecast Center. Jim? Yeah, it's too bad. Usually they, they take those planes, Paul, and they actually tie. They have to be tied down uh, so they don't do that. I mean, you could get a wind gust 50 miles per hour that'll flip a plane like that. They're very, very light. So uh, I'm kind of surprised, actually, it wound up like that. Uh, let me give you the chronology of, of what's going on. What started out as beautiful has turned into a beast. All right. Uh, this is actually a huge thunderstorm that developed just south of downtown Denver last night. Look at this. Uh, Sean Reynolds was telling me about this. I said, I got to start the show with this because uh, you can see the Mamata since we're here, the anvil, just huge thunderstorm. But this was actually the beginning of our thunderstorm complex that's moving through Tennessee. We can trace it all the way back in through here. As a matter of fact, here it is. I guess we're going to do current first. Uh, you can see it here as it's pretty much a big, big bow here stretching from central parts of Tennessee down into Mississippi coming into northwest Alabama. Now, warnings are going to, here's what you're going to happen. When you have something moving at 60 miles an hour, the weather service is going to try and get way out ahead of this. And what's interesting is you've actually got a couple of areas. So here's one new bow right here. Gosh, okay, Sarah, stop that because it's, if you would, because I can't even keep up to drawing it. Here's one bow right here. Here's another bow that's coming in. And this kind of loops back as a wave. So these are the two areas that we're watching, and this is what we're going to time out for you. Uh, it looks like the worst of this is probably going to move just to the south of Nashville, but the southern part of this is meaning business. We're talking 70 miles per hour. You saw the damage uh, all the way back into the Memphis area. We've got about 37,000 people, or customers, I should say, without power in the Memphis area. So uh, be careful. All right, we'll keep an eye on this because sometimes we can get a little notch on the front end of these and get a quick spin up of a tornado. Here's Lewis Perry in Wayne Counties. We got warnings along this entire thing, so it's almost pointless uh, to kind of show you that. But let's time this out. Uh, Nashville's about 503, all right? And again, notice Sarah's got this just on the south side of Nashville. And the worst of it will be where the apex of the bow is, where it bends the worst. That's where you're getting uh, a pretty strong, what we call a rear inflow jet coming into this and just pushing it. Uh, quickly off to the east, and we're probably going to be talking about 60, 80 miles per hour with this. Let's get down to the south. We've timed out the southern flank of this. Huntsville, again, uh, looks like we're going to see it right around 430 for you, so we're not too far away. Coleman uh, and also Hamilton, it's uh, right on your doorstep. And actually, Sarah just drew this, too, so you can see how fast. With one scan, it's already moved into uh, the area that we've drawn on through here. So, wow, things are hauling right along. And again, guys, get ready for damaging winds. That's why the severe thunderstorm watch with this extends all the way down to the Atlanta area. All right, interesting uh, cell right here. This is interesting around Sampson County. Looks like a storm that's got a little bit of a hook on. Looks like a supercell. Uh, Clinton, Ingold, Taylor's Bridge. We'll keep an eye on that. There's Wilmington where I shot that commercial that we just showed you there. So you'll eventually get some of these storms and these storms will eventually kind of drift their way either along the sea breeze or uh, from west to east. So we could get flash flood warnings coming out of this as well with these storms. But 60, 70 mile per hour winds, uh, some hail, definitely a possibility. Watching a storm here south of Sioux Falls. This one has a tornado warning on it. We've already had funnel clouds sided with it. Lincoln County, look at that ball we'll uh, right in through there. So huge, huge uh, ball of convection going on. Here's the high resolution radar. The little uh, upside down triangle is what we call a TVS or a tornado vortex signature. They just reissued the warning. They've made it uh, go farther east and it's obviously for this. Sarah, time it out for me while I show everybody what's going on uh, with the storm relative here. So let's see if this is spinning uh, up pretty good and that's exactly where it's spinning. I'll just leave my cursor there. What about the normalized rotation? So we can see where the best spin is. That is also right there. Is there a correlation coefficient? No. And that's the good news because that tells me at least at this point uh, we don't have any debris. Now that doesn't mean there's not a tornado on the ground but uh, certainly uh, this is a storm that's spinning a little bit faster and it's going to move basically just to the north of Canton and over toward the Inwood area. So right in through here. We'll go back to the graphics. I know Sarah's timed this out for me. So there again is Canton. So just to the north of Canton, Inwood is about right here. It's going to come right towards you. And I guess uh, there's no uh, towns, uh, or at least smaller towns. But if you live along Highway 18, this is your baby. All right, it's coming towards you. Very, very well-defined storm here, guys, working its way on off toward the southeast. Right now, uh, anything out of chat that says we got anything on the ground before I let everybody go? 
Not at the moment. So hopefully it stays that way. Uh, we have had funnel clouds, though, so it wouldn't surprise me, especially given the look of this. Uh, this looks the best it's been all day that we uh, don't get a tornado out of this here around the Canton and Inwood areas. Uh, Okay, so we do have a tornado on the ground with this at this point, right around the Canton area, uh, and it's uh, going to move right across Highway 18 here and head off toward the southeast. Guys, we'll keep you posted. Take cover if you're in Inwood as well. It's going to come pretty close to you or just to the south of town. Paul, Kelly, back to you. All right, thanks, Jim. Well, severe thunderstorms rumble through Colorado on Wednesday, including the towns of Hugo and Lyman, about 100 miles southeast of Denver. Heavy rain, winds gusting over 100 miles per hour, even a tornado had been reported. Watch and listen as survivors describe the storm in their own words. I believe it started right around 9 o'clock this evening, last evening. We got some reports of severe weather coming into town. I believe uh, that we had winds up to 111 miles an hour in the area. And I just called my daughter and she said, Mom, get the mattress. And so that's what I did. I pulled it out. Yeah, I pulled it down and I was like this, holding it down in the tub. When I opened up that door and saw what was coming, it was like, oh my gosh, it's here. Damage most in the Lincoln County area has been Pretty much centered on Yugo. Back behind me is a barn. That has been our, our most structural damage. There is a car on one of the other streets. It's got a pretty good sized tree sitting on top of it. Power lines down and uh, tree branches all over town. It is what it is. You know, it's the memories and I can't replace memories, but we're okay. <laughs> we'll be okay. Hey, is that a chainsaw carving of a chainsaw? It's a Craftsman chainsaw. We have all the best brands. Weber, Scott's, Craftsman. Genius. It is. Getting help at Ace is like going to your neighbor. Now through June 15th, stop by your neighborhood Ace to find a great Father's Day gift Dad will really love. And right now, you'll get a free 17-inch Craftsman outdoor thermometer with a $20 Craftsman purchase. At Ace, the helpful place. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. The day we rescued Riley was a truly amazing day. He was a matted mess in a small cage. So that was our first task, was getting him to wellness. Without Angie's List, I don't know if we could have found all the services we needed for our Riley. From contractors and doctors to dog sitters and landscapers, you can find it all on Angie's List. We found Riley at the shelter. We found everything he needed at Angie's List. Join today at Angie'sList.com. Potter, now with Diagon Alley and the Hogwarts Express. Come and live it. Universal Orlando Resort. Currently in our area, 84 degrees under fair skies. Tonight, clear to partly cloudy, low 73. Winds south at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Friday, except for a few afternoon clouds, mainly sunny. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. High 89. Here's our seven-day outlook. A Weather Channel original series. This is a dangerous job. Take it hard, take it hard. Catching Hell, Sundays at 9 on The Weather Channel. Now at Boston Market, try our new Kentucky Bourbon Barbecue Sauce. A bold new taste for our St. Louis-style ribs with the perfect amount of heat. Also tastes great on our rotisserie chicken. Kentucky Bourbon Barbecue Sauce, only for a limited time at Boston Market. Make your way into Boston Market. Time for something good. For the dad that would do anything for golf, save on anything for golf at the Golfsmith Father's Day event. The biggest savings, the best deals, to make this the best Father's Day yet. So hurry to Golfsmith 
anything for golf. Check. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. <gasps> no! Energizer protects your devices from damaging leaks. Average blames the camera for those extra 10 pounds. Beat Average with GNC. All right, give you an update on that tornado warning as it moves uh, again, this storm from southern South Dakota into northwestern Iowa. And we have had a tornado about seven miles uh, to the northwest of a town called Canton that is in South Dakota. And now this thing is just about to move across the border. Uh, you can see it clear as day. Big hook here, obviously. And as it moves toward the southeast again, we've got the street level mapping on through here. It would probably be, again, kind of on the leading edge of all this right now, right on this leading edge of this ball. So it's going to move across just across Highway 18. That's probably where it is right now if it's still on the ground it's going to move uh, again to 260th street and just to the south potentially of uh, downtown inwood here that's how it looks right now again you can see it just getting ready uh to come across uh, the state line and that's why we have the watch or the warning just like it is in three years probably another office it's probably um Omaha's office that's going to pick this up from Sioux Falls. I'm not really sure, but either way, uh, you know, you can see the severe thunderstorm warning right here. That is for the hail up to the north and the wind and also, of course, the tornado warning itself down toward the south. Watch out again, moving right over Highway 18 right now and 260th. As we take a look at the high resolution radar, you can see right in through here the reflectivity. Uh, you know, I wanted to see actually how big the hail was with this. And you'll notice up here where we actually had that you know, those bright purples and everything. There's the, there's a little hail in this area right in through here, which would certainly make sense. That's where we're getting some of the high reflectivity, probably some golf ball hail at that. But this is, again, really going to be known for its wind and probably for a possible tornado. So where's the storm rotating? Well, you can see this thing's gotten wrapped up all the way around. All right, just like that. So your best rotation is going to be somewhere in here. That's where the tornado would be. Let's look at the normalized rotation here. We'll get an idea where that is. Okay, so just to the west of where I put the cursor, that's that's where you see the normalized rotation. So it's just northeast of downtown Canton and getting ready to come across uh, the state line into northwestern Iowa here. So again, it's going to pass just to the south of Inwood. And I wanted to see if a quick correlation coefficient here to see if we had anything in terms of the debris balls. And there's nothing back here where that normalized was. So here again, again, is the normalized rotation. We'll put the cursor on that and we'll go back and look at the correlation coefficient. So if this tornado is still on the ground, it is uh, at least not showing a debris signature or a strong one. Uh, at any at length in time and through here. Again, guys, tornado spotted seven miles northwest of Canton about 10 minutes ago, moving now into the extreme northwest part of Iowa. Back to you. All right, thanks, Jim. Well, today is somewhat of a quieter day, especially in terms of severe weather so far compared to what we've already dealt with this week. That's right. We could still see some dangerous storms developing. That's why we've got Mike Bettis and the Tornado Track Team out there on the road. And Mike, where are you right now? And ooh, that looks like a pretty cool sky behind you. Yeah, indeed. We have a severe thunderstorm warning now, including for Elbert County. We're near the town of Bennett, Colorado, uh, basically very close to I-70. I want to show you what's going on behind us here over the beautiful fields here. I mean, there's very rural area. What you're looking up at the top here is that big mushroom cloud, that big anvil top blow off uh, to the east. And then if you look down toward the ground here, basically between the silos there and the blue topped house over there, and that's really the core of the storm. We're going to have the big hail core in there and their strongest winds will come out of that system as that rain, that hail fall out of that and flow outwards called big downdrafts. We'll focus back to the west a little bit and maybe along a boundary here you'll see a little bit of cauliflower tops there. Cumulonimbus trying to build back in there so we may get some more storms that build in behind that on this boundary. Certainly something will follow for you very closely. And uh, Kelly looks like the Storm Prediction Center will be issuing momentarily a severe thunderstorm watch for eastern Colorado which means large hail and high winds very likely now through the evening. Just keep a heads up on what the weather is going to be like now through the time you go to bed. All right, be safe out there, Mike. We'll check back with you later. These weeds are on a mission to hide every bottle of their advanced Durazone. They know Durazone kills weeds and grasses for up to six months. That's two months longer than Roundup Extended Control. And Durazone provides more coverage. It goes 50% further than Roundup Extended Control for a better value. It's no wonder weeds are terrified of Durazone. Found two more in plumbing. Get more from the Blue Bottle, Bayer Advanced Durazone.
Preparing for yard projects? Visit BayerAdvance.com for information at a retailer near you. You don't compromise, and you're never willing to settle. So why are you wearing glasses with just any progressive lenses? See the difference with Verilux. The only progressive lens brand with lenses designed using wave technology. Enjoy smooth transitions and sharp vision at any distance. See your eye care professional about Verilux, the number one progressive lens brand. Ask for Verilux. Never compromise your vision. Now save $30 on Verilux when you combine with Crizal and Transitions lenses. Ask your eye care professional about Transitions signature lenses. Fernandina Beach, Florida had a huge wooden deck problem. Punished by extreme weather, salt air, and heavy traffic, they needed an economical way to give their boardwalks longer life. They chose the original Rust-Oleum Restore 10X, a revolutionary, easy-to-apply repair coating that's 10 times thicker than paint. And if it works here, imagine what it can do for your deck at home. Don't rebuild. Apply the only coating that renews and repairs. Rust-Oleum Restore 10X. And now for less distressed decks, try new Restore 4X. The new sea Spark. It's bringing the fun your family has been dreaming of. Easy to own and a thrill to ride. But the biggest rush is realizing you can own one now. The sea Spark, starting at $49.99. At Farmers, we make you smarter about auto insurance because the more you know, the more we can help you. Cut. Lower. Shave. Cut and drop your insurance rates. If you want to save hundreds, talk to farmers. We are farmers. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. The more you know, the more you could save. Farmers could help you save hundreds on your auto insurance. Call your local agent or 1-800-470-8496 today. What's your favorite kind of Cheerios? Honey nut. But chocolate is my other favorite. Oh, yeah. And frosted. What's your most favorite of all? Mm, the kind I have with you. <sighs> Me too. The Weather Channel and the American Cancer Society are teaming up to help Relay for Life. Over 4 million Americans are helping to raise awareness and save lives from cancer. Go to RelayForLife.com. At 69, I'm starting a whole new chapter in my life. Lifestyle Lift, a life-changing procedure that helps remove wrinkles, frown lines, and sagging skin on your face and neck. I have a younger look and a new look on life. Look, almost 200,000 lives changed. Lifestyle Lift is the affordable way to looking years younger. Nothing's better than a lifestyle lift. Don't miss your chance for your free skin firming treatment. Call now because this amazing offer ends soon. Every time I see somebody, you look so good, you just never age. I go, oh, thank you for that. You know? Would you feel good looking younger and more attractive? I haven't felt this good in years. My name is Cindy, I'm 56, but nobody needs to know. Don't miss your chance for your free skin firming treatment. Call now because this amazing offer ends soon. Call 1-800-356-1071 today. Don't regret looking older than you feel. Call 1-855-266-2838 now. That's 1-855-266-2838. A Weather Channel original series. Every time I shoot a fish and I'm wrestling them, that's when I'm scared. Catching Hell, Sundays at 9 on the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 84 degrees under fair skies. Tonight, clear to partly cloudy, low 73. Winds south at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Friday, except for a few afternoon clouds, mainly sunny. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. High 89. Here's our seven day outlook.
All right, guys, keeping uh, abreast of the storms here, the big bow that started last night all the way back in Denver. Beautiful pictures we saw. Airport, downtown, gorgeous sky lit up there with the big Mamatis clouds. That complex has developed and moved all the way now into northwest Alabama. It's about 15 minutes away from downtown Huntsville. So let's take a look at it. You can see the warnings. They're out all over the place. I, this storm will not affect Nashville in terms of any kind of damage. You'll notice the this northern part here just absolutely croaked. So this southern part of the bow really took over and it's pretty much robbed all the inflow and that's allowed this part of it to really, really croak. So uh, great news there uh, for Nashville. You can see that as just a general rain in through here. There'll be some breezes. Certainly it wouldn't rule out a 35 to 40 mile an hour gust, but the 60 to 75 mile an hour wind is down and through here. So Florence, uh, it's going to be heading your way about 348 Huntsville about 430. So we're, it's almost right on top of you here. I guess I mentioned about 10, 15 minutes coming your way. Coleman, Alabama, you're going to be in this as well. Expect tree damage, expect power outages, and hope for the best. Storms across the east central part of North Carolina with these. We've had tree and power line damage as well. Some of these a little bit later on as well may head in toward Myrtle Beach. They're sitting right on the sea breeze right now in North Carolina. Guys, back to you. All right, thanks so much, Jim. Of course, we were tracking a tropical system in the eastern Pacific that moved into Mexico. We have another area of disturbed weather kind of related to Boris, but not really the remnants of Boris that we're watching here in the Bay of Campeche, right here in the southern Gulf of Mexico. This is our enhanced uh, satellite imagery where you can actually see some of the brighter colors indicating where we have some of the heavier rain coming out of some of those clouds. So we're going to be keeping an eye on this cluster right here, the uh, National Hurricane Center, keeping an eye on it as well. This time yesterday, it was still sitting right in this exact spot. So it really hasn't moved, hasn't developed, hasn't even weakened either. It's just kind of sitting there and the winds are still about 35 miles per hour. Pressure still relatively high, but giving this about a 30% chance of perhaps developing into something tropical, a depression or a storm. So let's uh, track this out and see where it does go. The computer model is kind of grabbing hold of this one and basically taking it to the west back over Mexico. Remember, Boris made a landfall across southern Mexico and it's kind of raining itself out across across the hill towns here. So a flash flood threat still exists. And now we've got this other area of disturbed weather that we're going to have to focus on for the possibility of heavy rain, mudslides and flash flooding. As we look at the month of June, climatologically speaking, we look close to home, the Gulf of Mexico, the Western Caribbean, sometimes off of fronts along the East Coast. You can get development as well. And if they were to develop across the Gulf of Mexico, this is tend to be the track that they would take up toward the north and also over toward the northeast over Florida and sometimes even curve through the Carolinas. But right now, nothing imminent out there, I'm happy to say. Paul? Okay, let's take a look at the weekend, because I know it's Thursday, but everyone is living for the weekend. Here's your forecast across the nation on Saturday. Yes, there's more red there across parts of Texas and Oklahoma, stretching eastward into areas of uh, Arkansas as well as Missouri, not to mention areas of uh, western Tennessee. So we could, could deal with some strong and severe thunderstorms there. But hey, check out the northeast New England. Wow, finally, after a brutal winter, we had, what, one or two nice days so far this spring. This is a nice weekend for you. The warmest day will be Saturday, 86. New York. If you want to head to the beach, enjoy it. Water's still a little chilly for you, but the air will be nice and mild. A little bit cooler, but still comfortable as we head towards Sunday. Boston 79, New York 83. Meanwhile, the West Coast is pretty nice, 77. That's warm for this time of the year for the Bay Area, but 107, that's hot in Phoenix any time of the year. It's certainly uh, this time of the year. Scattered showers continue here across much of the Ohio Valley, the Great Lakes, and in the Midwest, even the Southeast as well. The better chance of that rain will be in the afternoon hours. Meanwhile, what's going Going on this Saturday, we're talking about the Belmont Stakes, the third leg of the Triple Crown. Can California Chrome do it? The weather not a concern at all with the uh, the uh, the Preakness. They had a kind of a uh, rain before that. Not so much here in New York. Also, golf. The professionals, PGA champion, or PGA Tour players, are stopping in Memphis. Thunderstorms all weekend. This program brought to you by Aflac. When you're sick or hurt, Aflac pays you cash. Hammer that in. Yep. Nice. Wrench. What? Aflac! So this is who you brought to help us out. Oh, yeah. He's the best. He doesn't look like he's seen a tool in his life. Oh, he doesn't know anything about tools. Aflac! But when I broke my arm, he lent a hand. He paid my claim in just four days. Four days? Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> Find out how fast Aflac can pay you at Aflac.com. Better. She keeps you on your toes. You wouldn't have it any other way. 
But your erectile dysfunction? It could be a question of blood flow. Cialis Tadalafil for daily use helps you be ready anytime the moment's right. You can be more confident in your ability to be ready. And the same Cialis is the only daily ED tablet approved to treat ED and symptoms of BPH, like needing to go frequently or urgently. Tell your doctor about all your medical conditions and medicines and ask if your heart is healthy enough for sex. Do not take Cialis if you take nitrates for chest pain as it may cause an unsafe drop in blood pressure. Do not drink alcohol in excess. Side effects may include headache, upset stomach, delayed backache, or muscle ache. To avoid long-term injury, get medical help right away for an erection lasting more than four hours. If you have any sudden decrease or loss in hearing or vision, or any allergic reactions like rash, hives, swelling of the lips, tongue, or throat, or difficulty breathing or swallowing, stop taking Cialis and get medical help right away. Ask your doctor about experiencing Cialis for daily use and a free 30-tablet trial. You told us your number one Olive Garden dishes. Now they're part of our two for 25 guest favorites, featuring your all-time favorite creamy chicken Alfredo and seductive shrimp mezzaluna. It's our most inspired two for 25 ever at Olive Garden. Anna. Ready. Now every stop is an opportunity to save gas. And maybe someone's day. Introducing the new, fuel-efficient 2014 Malibu with stop-start technology. The car for the richest guys on Earth. Start your summer off right and get $2,000 customer cash on every 2014 Chevy Malibu. Hurry in. For four days only, save an additional 15% store-wide with coupon. Go to PetSmart.com slash family for your coupon. Valid June 5th through June 8th only during the PetSmart Friends and Family event. Right on cue. It's more than just a meal. It's Meow Mix Meal Time. With wholesome ingredients and irresistible taste, it's the only one cats ask for by name. You do your shop from anywhere thing, and we'll be here at LifeLock doing our thing. Offering protection that simple credit score monitoring can't. Get LifeLock protection and live life free. The Weather Channel and the American Cancer Society are teaming up to help Relay for Life. Over 4 million Americans are helping to raise awareness and save lives from cancer. Go to RelayForLife.org slash weather and join teams across America. Together, we can end cancer one step at a time. Go to RelayForLife.org slash weather for more info. Currently in our area, 84 degrees under fair skies. Tonight, clear to partly cloudy, low 73. Winds south at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Friday, except for a few afternoon clouds, mainly sunny. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. High, 89. Here's our seven-day outlook. A Weather Channel original series. This is a dangerous job. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Catching Hell, Sundays at 9 on the Weather Channel. Well, it has been a crazy week of weather so far. Welcome back to Weather Center Live. I'm Paul Goodloe. And I'm Kelly Cass. We were predicting there would be a severe weather outbreak, and that certainly played out. Mike Bettis and the Tornado Track team saw quite a bit of action. Yeah, listen to what he had to say about what he saw last night in Colorado. Yet another act today for the Tornado Track team as we pursued storms in Colorado and a beautiful vantage point in Washington County of a gorgeous supercell out in open countryside about 25 miles from us where we had this beautiful low hanging wall cloud, some protrusions down from that wall cloud, some little funnels that teased potentially even a brief tornado touchdown. And then what a lightning show that accompanied that. Uh, once the sun went down, the sky is just illuminated with electricity. What a vivid show and it was just a perfect vantage point 
point and, and an unbelievable afternoon and evening. Now after that, there was another storm that came in behind it along I-70 just outside of Denver, raced along I-70, passed by the town of Lyman and then Hugo. Over 100 mile per hour winds recorded in Hugo. We had some tree damage there, some power lines that were knocked over, a semi that was flipped over and two minor injuries. We could now begin to see more eruption of storms through the afternoon today. It could include the same spots in eastern Colorado, but then extending through the central plains and right into the southeast. It's large hail, it's heavy rain and flooding, it's high winds and isolated tornadoes as well. So we've got a quadruple threat today that you need to be aware of. Of course, we'll follow it for you right here on the Weather Channel. Watch for our live reports throughout the afternoon and evening and always follow us online using the hashtag on Twitter, Tornado Track. That is the latest here in Aurora, Colorado. I'm meteorologist Mike Bettis. Thanks, Mike. And as you mentioned, there are still plenty of thunderstorms to keep track of out there. Storm tracker Jim Cantori has more from our Global Forecast Center. Jim, what are you watching? Uh, we're watching a lot of action, which actually started very close to where Mike was last night in Denver, Colorado. Guys, let's take you back to 9 o'clock last night, Central Time. Uh, of course, this would be 8 o'clock Mountain Time here. But here's Denver. We had those beautiful pictures of that thunderstorm last night. Watch what happens. We're going to put this into motion. You can see how these storms just kind of amalgamated into this big bow echo, big thunderstorm complex, big mesoscale convective vortex here. There's one of them. And now it is pushing through northwest Alabama. We've got trees down, power outages around Corinth and Muscle Shoals, Alabama. This is uh, on the doorstep of uh, Muscle or Huntsville, Alabama uh, very, very soon. Look at the damaging winds. Holy smoke. Across Kansas, across Missouri, across Arkansas, across Tennessee, and now into Alabama. Over a thousand miles. That's how far this thing has come. So what is it doing now? Uh, and what is it going to do, certainly, uh, as we work our way through this evening? So you saw the storm reports yesterday farther to the north. Uh, that was from the thunderstorms and the winds that we were watching in Nebraska and South Dakota and uh, uh, Omaha. So here's last night. Look at this thunderstorm. Boom! One big complex, big mushroom clouds, what it looks like going off there across Kansas. Very, very classic sign of what we call a mesoscale convective system or group of thunderstorms. In this case, pooling uh, their coal pool and driving southeast through northwest Alabama. There's Hunt now on the cusp of a warning. Uh, not surprising either here. They're talking about uh, 430. So it's right on your doorstep right now. You can see it just off to the west, maybe about five minutes off. Florence again, Cullman, Alabama, site of a big, big tornado back in the 2011. Gadsden, you'll get into this. It'll come across Interstate 59, probably somewhere uh, in the 530 range. So uh, we'll keep an eye on that for you. Maybe even sooner, actually, probably about 515. It looks like it's slowed down just a little bit. We've had some pretty powerful storms, some west of Myrtle Beach off the map here, and another line which is stretching north of Moorhead City back through Jacksonville and east of I-95. As a matter of fact, Orem, North Carolina, there's been uh, reports of a damage uh, to a residence and also trees down here. That's with this cell right in here, and Carteret, uh, also Jones counties under the gun with a possible 70-mile-per-hour uh, winds or, or stronger. So there's trees blown down, nickel-sized hail. You can see three reports there. Here's another report on Kinston over toward New Bern as well. So we've got plenty of action here, guys, as all this just kind of slides to the south and is pretty much just sitting on the sea breeze. Here's our tornado worn storm. This has been producing funnels uh, and even uh, ground truth uh, tornadoes we've seen from uh, storm spotters all the way back uh, to the